And now to get into the kitchen, I had to take this door out right here because it's a 30 inch door. And uh, it's just not going to work anyway. The door is destroyed and the track's destroyed. So I'm going to just put a cased opening right here. That's all we need anyway. <sighs> but what I did, you can't see them in there, but I run pipes through the wall here, cut through the bottom of the cabinets, and come over to the kitchen sink here. All right. Like this right here. The white pipe is just something I can, uh, a bunch of leftovers I had. And they're good pipes, they're brand new, but I'm gonna change them out and put the blue in so that the whole house has all blue. We have blue and red, hot and cold. You can't mistake it. All right, this goes to the kitchen. This serves the sink and uh, the kitchen sink. And these right here go to the bathroom to service the bathroom sink in here. So, uh, there was a leak in here somewhere at one point, as you can tell down here, and we're going to have all that cured. Come drop down, I have lines already run all the way up there, they're all three quarter. I'll cut a hole right here somewhere, there'll be two of them, and we'll drop down and we'll tie in right here and we'll try to keep it flush up against the wall so that uh, they can put implements and stuff in here, you know, like that. Uh, vacuums and stuff and this right here will turn will come down will turn and then turn and then turn into this wall right here and it'll be all right we might take and put a little shelf or something across this piece here and down and just have these come over and tie in put a fake wall come out you know there's just don't there's no two ways about it because this wall, it, this is actually the bathroom wall right here. And uh, this wall is this partition that runs across here. Somebody did that, you know, for a pocket door. All right, and this is actually the kitchen wall as well on the other side with the microwave and the stove and everything. This was just added in later. I don't know what the hell happened there, but it'd be all right. No thinking, I guess. You know, they should have moved that wall on back here. You know, and then I could have kept everything in the wall. But to do it, I would have had to have drill a hole, in which you can't get to. <laughs> it would never happen. It had to go through there. Uh, that's thirty inches, twenty nine seven eighths, to the wall, and then you got to go another four and a half inches to the other side of the wall. And then you got about a two inch gap or an inch gap in between that wall and the bathroom cabinet because that's how they just install them. You know, there's stuff. But if you look, you'll see it comes through here. And then we come over here. So we're going to be okay. And then I'll tee off up here and come down this wall where the shower is right here and I'll put a hole up here for the shower head and then down here I'll put a hole in for the manifold and be able to tie the manifold in put two holes in up here drop the pipe straight down and then also I got to cut all the way around here to get this dadgum toilet in oh, a lot of fun <clears throat> so uh, it's work in progress the uh, I already got my three quarter up. I'm all the way over to the other side of the house. There it is. And this white pipe right here is the service. The new service is gonna be coming in. That's one inch. And it'll come in, come over, and tee off, and I'll catch the water heater, and then it'll go up and we'll have cold water for the whole house. And then off the water heater I'll tee up or it won't be a T, it'll just be one line. Go straight up in there. And that'll service the whole house. And we'll omit all this in the back in that concrete and we won't be using none of that pipe. It'll all be brand new. Voila. And any shot button, all that other good shit, and this is how it's done. Peace.